welcome to our training on S-curves in Antera. S-curves are used to project future billings and costs to allow you to see how the margin in your work backlog will time out. An S-curve specifies milestones and is applied to a project based on the project's duration. Here we see the billings and cost milestone percentages applied to this project over future months on our job cash flow spreading screen. If you change the view to percentages, you can see the S-curve billing percentages versus the project's billing percentages. And the S-curve cost percentages compared to the project cost percentages that are forecast. Differences will occur when the project is ahead or behind the S-curve you define. Being behind the curve is not good. It is likely an early warning indicator that you have a schedule problem. S-curves are built for specific project types. You may have multiple S-curves for the same type of building. For example, a two-story high school for 3,500 students may take 15 months to build and will have a different S-curve than a one-story elementary school for 300 students that takes nine months to build. You'll build an S-curve for each project type. If you find that a project is not following its S-curve very well, it may indicate that you have another project type or curve or that project could be in trouble. An S-curve starts with a type of project. You can manage project types under Construction, Administration, Project Type Administration. Or you can just type in a new project name and create it from the S-curve builder screen. You'll give a project type its average duration in days. You then create project milestones during construction. You can add as many rows as you want for milestones. You enter the number of days, the milestone description, the percentage of contract value you can bill, and the percentage of your forecast cost at completion at the end of that milestone. We calculate the percentage of time complete for each milestone, which is the day of completion divided by the average days of the project type. When we apply the S-curve to a project, we'll take that project's duration in days and calculate the date each milestone falls in. For example, if you had a 400-day middle school that started on January 1st and windows are complete at 25% of the time of the project, we would time out that milestone at day 100, which falls on April 10th. We would apply all the milestones that fall in a month to calculate out what the buildings and cost for each month would be. S-curves are very powerful. We'll be able to show you if a project is behind its S-curve costs and billing, which could indicate an upcoming schedule problem. The more milestones you have, the better. If you have large gaps in your milestone, your S-curve may have months with no billings, which isn't likely to happen for most companies. But if you do have gaps in construction where you're waiting for other trades to complete work, you are able to time them out. We have a series of videos in our knowledge base on cash flow forecasting. Please contact your Antera consultant or email us at support at if you have questions. Have a great day.